Hello, Balua. <gasps> you know, it's not every day you get to see a totally hidden city that nobody else has seen for centuries. Apart from Asav. Apart from Asav. And a few of his men. And a few of his men. Are you ready? You just totally crushed that moment. You know that, right? Yeah, I'm ready. How do we get in? I don't know. Looks like dwellings along the side. So let's go up. Check on it. All right. Uh, shit! I got them! They're all to us! We got a problem! Take them! <laughs> Goodbye! No! Go around! Moving now! Look out, uh. Tupo! Look around, Tupo! <laughs>
to find a way out of here. Right. Back to it. Ah, let's see where this goes. Not here again. Must be a way into the city somewhere. Asav couldn't find an entrance, so he made his own. You'd think Asav would have more respect for this place. Asav only respects Asav. That ledge with the waterfalls. That's the way forward. <laughs> Never thought. It's a shame, in a way, that Baloo is hidden from the world. Now I know why.
There's another god. I'm guessing it's one of the Hoysala kings. How many kings did they have in their day? Eleven. The young king was the last in their line. Well, his plan worked. Saved his city from the Persians. There we go. Up this way. And in case there was any doubt, this was Balor, Lord Shiva. Personally. And I'm guessing that's Ganesh, at least before he got his elephant's head. Could be. Might also be Katakeya, Shiva's elder son. He's the Hindu god of war. Damn it! They've blown the entrance! That must have been the explosion we heard. Gotta be another way in. <coughs> in here, Nadine. Blah. Tastes great. Hmm. Hurry up! We need to catch up with the others. I see him. Okay. Big city. There must be another way through. What is this place? A bath? Or a well? Possibly both. <laughs> Bit deeper here. Coming. Huh, look there. The queen and her handmaidens. Maybe these were the royal bards. Some statues of women for a change. Women actually played a big role in Hoysala society, particularly the queens. Not surprised, with the kings and men going off to fight all the time. They were also involved in the fine arts, poetry, music, that sort of thing. Balua was their city, in a way. Kannad script. Looks like stanzas. Could be poetry. This place a library? Seems so. Looks like a drum. It is a drum. They keep all sorts of things in here.
Then it's Sita? Vina. It's the Sitar's distant ancestor. Fraser, over here. Maybe they gave performances in here. Look at this. It's incredible. It's an altar of some kind. Looks like the king suffered dearly for their people. They weren't just protecting the tusk. Historians believe that it was a symbol of power and dominance, but I reckon they misunderstood. It was a symbol of their people, their culture. It was a symbol of them. What sort of this? Sav get that tusk. No. No, we can't. Thank you. Thank me after we get out of this alive. <laughs> Fair point. Don't forget Ganesh. Oh. Glad I brought this. Through here. <sighs> Magnificent. All this grandeur hidden away from the world. But how do we get over there?
Okay. That's our way back in. Copy that. Thanks for going first, eh? You're welcome. Ready? I've got my eye on you. It's kind of a tight squeeze here. Oh, hello. Nice city you've got here. Okay. Easy does it. Now. What? Got water in my ears. I hate that. But I wouldn't give her a towel. <clears throat> my god. Are you seeing this? You know, at this point, I've run out of words. Holy goddamn shit. Nice work. What on earth is this place? Throne room, place to hide a magnificent bejeweled tusk. Let's hope so. I see stairs going up, but they're mostly broken. I'll have to find another way up. Shit, I just realized something. I think I know what it is. That we're gonna need that disc soon? Exactly. Well, not much we can do until we find a salve. Or until he finds us. See 
way up? Looking. Nothing to climb this way. Over here, Nadine. Copy that. Mm. Wait, not this way. We're getting somewhere. I see a few more of those cranks around the chamber. I'll give this a spin. <laughs> hand is moving. Be more specific. Right hand. Lower. Right hand. Maybe it's because this statue's enormous. But I just now noticed Shiva's got a king cobra for a necklace. That's Vasuki, a king of the Nagas. Entities that take the form of the king cobra. It shows his control over fear and death. Hmm. Cobras were always my favorite snake. Don't think I have a favorite snake. Hmm. Now what's that up there? One thing at a time. Right. <laughs> okay. Now what? Well, there's got to be more to this. Just need to figure out what it is. <laughs> Coming? I'm going to snoop the other side. Okay. Ah. There's another crank up ahead.
Okay, I better get a move on. No going back now. Oh no! Oh no! 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 Hang on! Oh, good suggestion. Ah, oh, that was a close one. Nearly destroyed my pants. Wow. I can see my house from here. Dead. I'll be right down. Ah, ah, slippery. Nicely done. Thank you. Okay, I've got this one. And I've got this one. Teamwork! Bringing down Shiva's drum. Uh-oh. This one's like the trident. Time to move! Come on, jump to the drum! I thought it was an hourglass. It's an hourglass shape drum. Oh shit, here we go. Hang on. And now we turn the water on for this side. Here we go. Now we've got water running down both sides. Look. Oh. Shall we? Is that it? We'll find out in a moment. The light is shining on that statue across the way. Oh, I guess we're not done. When the Hoysala want to protect something, they don't do it halfway. Come on.
Now, what's all this then? Ah, here we go. The thing it's holding. It's a prism. That looks right. Yeah. Now, we tend to the other two. You were right? Of course I was. About what? What you said, back in that place with all the statues and axes. Things always come in threes. Three points of a trident, the light split into three beams, and Shiva's third eye. You know about Shiva's third eye? Yeah. Wisdom. Mm-hmm. And destruction. He only opens it to impart one or the other. Ugh. Hope it's wisdom. Yeah, not with our luck. Huh. Not off to a great start. Hold on. I've got an idea. What are you doing? Improvising. Hang on. You got that? Yeah. <clears throat> there. You make a phenomenal statue. Get over there. This thing's heavy. Right. Edge doesn't look sturdy. Copy that. <gasps> Got it. Thumb. We'll have to do the other side first. Does that mean I can put this mirror down? If you have to. That's not right. The light's not hitting the mirror on that one. Dean, be a dear. We're ahead of you. Got it. Thank you. Time to do the other side. Okay. Can you be a statue again?
Okay, that did something. So I can put this down? No, wait for it. What's happening? I can't see from over here. Just uh, hold still for just a sec. All this water, it's a cleansing ritual. What's happening? Oh, you can put down the mirror now. Oh, shit. They found us! Get you ready! Sit! <laughs> ah! was quite the fall. You had me worried. Come, it's time for a reunion. He wouldn't give you up, despite my efforts to persuade him. Sam! Jesus. Hey, you made it. Dude. It's all right. He is like a girl. Is that right? How about we get these cuffs off and I'll show you how girls hit. 
hell is she doing here? You said find help, I got help. I must admit, you are quite the schemer. First you steal my disc, then you have your expert run me around in circles, huh? <laughs> That's clever. Perhaps there's a little Indian blood in you after all. Let's finish what we started. All right, all right. <clears throat> so, amazing, boss. Don't talk to me. I was gonna say, you look good. Was I not clear? What's that smell? Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't exactly had access to running water and soap recently. God. All the people you could have brought with you. <laughs> she saved my ass more than once, yeah. You do remember that uh, she also tried to kill Nathan and I many, many times. And to be fair, you two tried to do the same to her. I, yeah, but that, that's not the point. The point is that the second we turn our backs, there will be a knife in there. I can hear every word you're saying. I know! I trust her. <laughs> you know what? Fine. I guess I'm just a little bit irked that we are walking away with nothing. But I guess you know what that's like, right? <laughs> oh! oh, my. Real classy, thank you. Time and place, children. More that came from. Bike racks after school. Ugh. Just hurry up. Appears the kings have one final test. Looks like you won't be needing us, though, so we'll just be on. Oh, our on way. the contrary. Surely you know the story. <laughs> you see, Shiva gave Parashuram the mighty axe that struck Ganesh in the face, bringing Shiva's son, one of the greatest of the gods, to his knees. Another casualty of war. Don't. Yeah, seriously, Chloe, he's just gonna kill him. Uh, He's right. But if you refuse, <coughs> you will watch them die, inch by inch. All right! <coughs> Chloe, don't! Sharama. Parashurama and Ganesh. What now? Chloe, don't you give this schmuck what he wants. Quiet.
He's yielding. Thanks. It's going to fall. Quiet! Ganesh, quite an obstacle you've placed in my path. What are you doing? Shout and watch. He yielded. Huh? Are you all right? Here. Yeah. That was unexpected. Holy shit, she's got balls, huh? I, I don't understand. It's an idiot. That's because you've got it all twisted, my friend. Ganesh allowed himself to be struck by the axe. That makes no sense. Not to a selfish prick, no. You see, Ganesh could have defeated Parashurama easily. But if he had, that would have made Shiva's axe look weak, powerless. Ganesh sacrificed himself to preserve his father's honor. See, even she gets it, not a drop of Indian blood in her. Magnificent, isn't it? Oh, what? Nothing to say now? Oh, if you like, I can tell you where to stick it. <laughs> well, my friends, I would love to kill you myself, but we must not anger the gods, for you have brought me a great fortune. Okay, then, what are you doing? I'm going to flood the chamber. I will miss you. Come on, is this really necessary? You know, nothing is ever truly destroyed. Only purified and reborn. Just shoot us and get it over with. Right? As the water fills your lungs, you will have time to reflect on the choices that brought you here. Perhaps in your next lives, you will fare better. Prick. I don't know about you guys, but I got a lot of regrets swimming around in my head right now. Tell me about it. I was really looking forward to kicking your ass again. Hey, you know, I'm not exactly thrilled about drowning next to you, either. Could you give it a rest, guys? I'm trying to concentrate. What are you doing? A little preparation goes a long way. Ha-ha, <laughs> yes! The buyers. What do you mean? Just over heard a soft talking about <clears throat> heading to the old rail yard, something about an arms deal. He's selling the tusk. It's not much for preserving his culture. Hey, just a second. Listen, uh, <clears throat> back there. Thanks for 
professional courtesy. <laughs> of course. So, are we good? No. I yeah, figured. If we hurry, we can intercept them before they make the sale. Huh. And there's our ride. <laughs>